Hi, my name's Alex Warford. I'm a solutions engineer for Streamsets, and in this video, I want to show you how you can do change data capture in MySQL using Streamsets Data Collector. The first thing we're going to do is enable binary logging. So if I go to uh, etsy.my.conf uh, here, and uh, I've just set some properties in the file. These are the server ID. By default, it's um, the number one the uh, log bin um, property. So this is really the prefix of the bin log files. Um, how many days um, to keep a binary log before we uh, um, dump them. Um, the format, uh, we're going to use row. And the bin log row image um, is full. Um, that's going to contain everything. Um, I believe it's possible to capture just the changes. Um, but this is what the docs say, so we should uh, use full. Now we can read the bin log, so if I go to uh, var lib mysql, we can take a look at one. If I do an ls here, you can see here's my, my binary log, and there's a little utility. Uh, it's called mysql uh, bin log, um, and this is just a, a reader, and, and it, it will um, turn the, uh, the binary log into human readable text. And here's a base64 encoded string. Um, so now that bin log has been enabled, um, we can pop over to data collector and build a pipeline to read these changes. So I'm going to create a new pipeline here, mysql uh, bin log. And the origin is going to be the MySQL bin log origin. So we're going to set a couple of properties in here. The uh, username and password. Um, we're going to give it the host name, Deep Thoughts. And I think that'll do for now. Uh, and so we can pull out specific um, you know, tables and schemas. OK, let's, let's pull out everything in the demo schema. So any, any um, changes to the demo schema will appear in this pipeline. Um, just for now, we'll throw the error records away. We will um, send this to trash. And we are ready to uh, go and uh, make a change to this database. So um, let's check my notes here. We're going to create a schema and a table within that schema. So mysql-u Okay. So we've made a table. I'm going to grab this insert statement and then we can do a preview of the pipeline. So let's hit preview. Um, I'm going to make sure that we um, see the header information here. Uh, run preview. I'm going to pop over and insert a record in here, and here it is. So this origin has picked up that record that we've inserted in real time. So let's take a quick look at this record. Um, we can see that we have um, the um, file that the record came from, the bin log file, um, the type of operation it is, the, uh, the table name, the database name, and uh, the data itself. Um, we also have, this field is worth pointing out, we ha have an SDC operation type. Um, this can be handy, come in handy sometimes. Uh, and if we just pop over to the docs, um, here's the sort of enum so that you can uh, figure out what those numbers, those integers, what they mean in real life. So uh, a one um, is an insert. So that was a very quick example on how to perform a change data capture uh, on MySQL um, using Streamsets Data Collector. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was interesting.